sasa manake naarifiwa kwamba moja kwa moja kwa hivi sasa kwa dakika kidogo tu tunaelekea embu tuweze kumsikiza uh, rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya hmm. number three ni mpango ya housing tunaelewana naona watu wengi wanasumbuka sana hii housing sasa hii nyumba itakuwa ya nani itapangwa namna gani mimi nitapata nyumba namna gani sijui sikizeni hii mpango ya housing kazi kubwa ambayo tunatafuta hapo mbali na kuwa na nyumba the real motivation behind the housing plan is the jobs we are going to create for the young people of Kenya nataka munisikize vizuri hii mpango ya housing kazi yake kubwa kwanza ni kuhakikisha kwamba vijana hawa wa Embu vijana wa Kenya wanapata nafasi ya ajira nataka muniulize vipi itakuwaje ita itafanyika ita namna gani kila nyumba tunayojenga tunahitaji vijana tano ambao watatusaidia kujenga nyumba moja vijana tano tunawahitaji kujenga nyumba moja leo mimi naenda kuanzisha nyumba mia moja ya kwanza hapa Embu lakini hapa Embu mpango yetu ni kujenga nyumba elfu tano hapa Embu hiyo nyumba elfu tano nataka tufanye hesabu na nyinyi nyumba elfu tano tunahitaji vijana elfu ishirini na tano watakaofanya hiyo kazi mnanisikia vijana wa Embu vijana mko mko area eh mnanisikia vizuri ama nyinyi ni wale wa kuchagua jembe Situlisema wera ni wera. Yes. Situlisema kazi ni kazi. Yes. Sikizeni. Mpango ya housing kazi yake ya kwanza ni kupanga ajira ya hawa vijana. Na kupanga ajira ya vijana wa Kenya sijakutana na kiongozi hata mmoja ama mzazi hata mmoja ambaye hashughuliki na vile tutapata ajira ya vijana. Every parent, every leader is bothered about what we are going to do with the millions of young people in Kenya who do not have jobs and creating jobs is not a game of guesswork creating jobs must be intentional must be deliberate must be practical and must be planned ajira iweze kupatikana tu hivi lazima ipangiwe tunaelewana uweze kusema tu oh itaendelea tu alafu kazi itapatikana itapatikana namna gani si lazima kuwa na mpango ndio tumesema agenda yetu ya kwanza ni kupanga mambo ya housing ndio tupange kwanza ajira ya hawa vijana wale watakaofanya kazi pale kama ni architect kama ni quantity surveyor kama ni engineer kama ni mason kama ni carpenter kama ni plumber kama ni electrician hizo kazi zote ni vijana wa hapa Embu watafanya katika ile mpango yetu ya housing. Jambo la kwanza, jambo la pili. Nafasi pia ya kazi itapatikana kwa sababu katika ile mjengo tume standardize. Tuko na watu watakao tutengenezea madirisha. Tuko na watu watakao tutengenezea milango. Tuko na watu ambao watatutengenezea hinges tuko na watu ambao watatutengenezea all the other products kuna watu wanafanya kazi huko kwa kampuni ya simiti kwa sababu tunahitaji simiti nyingi tuko na watu wengi wanafanya kazi huko kware tuna kazi, watu wengi wanafanya kazi huko kwa transport watakao safirisha hiyo bidhaa yote ikuje so hiyo kazi yote ndio itahakikisha kwamba uchumi wa Kenya inaanza kuenda mahali ambapo sisi wote tunataka ifikie nyinyi mnanielewa so itapatikana ajira kwa mjengo itapatikana ajira kwa factory ya kutengeneza simiti itapatikana ajira kwa factory ya kutengeneza chuma ambayo tutatumia pale kwa nini itapatikana ajira kwa kware mahali tunatengenezea eh, kokoto itapatikana ajira kwa wale wanatuletea sand itapatikana ajira kwa wale wanatuletea eh, wanachonga E, mawe ambayo tunatukia tunatengen, tunatumia kujenga katika ile e, mjengo that is the reason why we are pushing the housing program watu wengi wananiuliza 
Mbona wewe rais unasukuma hii kitu sana? What, what is urgent? Ni nini ya, ya dharura? Mimi nataka niwaulize. Vijana wetu wanaotembea barabarani kwa sababu hawana ajira. Is it urgent for us to look for a job for them or is it not? See this urgent. That is what is urgent. So wale wananiuliza hii housing mbona iko urgent sana kwako? Mimi nawaambia what is urgent to me? Ni millions of young people who are walking our streets and villages when they don't have jobs. That is urgent. And I want one leader. I want one parent who tells me it is not urgent for us to fix the unemployment problem in Kenya. Kuna mmoja kweli ambaye atasema sio urgent. Sisi wote tunakubaliana ya kwamba tupange ajira ya hawa vijana. That is the reason why we are doing housing. Na jambo la tatu. Why we are doing housing? Nimewaambia we are doing housing because we want to create jobs. We are doing housing because we want to move our industry. We want to enhance our manufacturing. Na ndio mmeona hata katika budget yetu hii tumesema wale wanaolete simiti kutoka nje wale wanaolete chuma kutoka nje watalipa ushuru kwa sababu tunataka simiti itengenezwe hapa Kenya tuko na uwezo ya kutengeneza simiti katika hiyo mahali simiti inatengenezwa vijana wetu wataajiriwa tunataka chuma ile watu wanalete chuma kutoka nje tunataka tuwaambie chuma tuko na viwanda ambaye inatengeneza chuma hapa Kenya ile chuma inatoka nje tutalipisha ushuru kwa sababu tunataka chuma itengenezwe Kenya vijana wa Kenya wapange wapate ajira ama mnataka tuendelee kulete kulete chuma kutoka nje na simiti si tutengeneza hapa nyumbani kama kuna mpango ya kutengeneza pia nimesema hata ile furniture watu wanaenda China wanaenda wapi kununua furniture na vijana wetu hapa wanaangaika na randa hapa wanaangaika na eh, 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 kazi hapa Tumesema kama wewe unataka kulete eh, furniture hii kitanda imagine mtu wanaenda kununua kitanda china mtu wanaenda kununua meza mtu wanaenda kununua kiti ya kukalia kutoka china tumesema katika hii budget tunaweka 30% excise duty kama unataka kulete meza na kitanda kutoka china kitanda tutaenda hapa embu tutengenezewe kuna vijana wanafanya kazi pale ama 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 mnasemaje how are we going to grow our manufacturing if we continue to import even the things the young people of Kenya can produce hawa vijana tunawapeleka Tibet tunawapeleka kwenda kufanya kazi gani Tibet wanaenda kujifunza ufundi ya nini kama tunaenda kulete eh, eh, ati, ati kitanda na, na kiti kidogo huko sijui wapi sio ni ukumbavu <laughs> so tunaelewana so hiyo ndio sababu tunapanga mambo ya housing because we want to create opportunities for young people to work in our country number one. number two, we want to grow our own industries and we want to grow our own local manufacturing because it is important tunaelewana na ndio tumesema hiyo ili hiyo kazi ifanyike Wacha niseme the third issue jambo la tatu nataka munielewe vizuri why are we doing housing Kenya tuko na slums including in Embu tuko na slums Kenya 1410 and, and, and 11 I think ile slums mali watu wanakaa Kibera sijui wapi Embu hapa Embu ya eh, slum shauri hapa e, hapa kwenu si ndio Tuko na wakenya milioni sita na nusu wanaoishi slums mahali hakuna choo hakuna maji kuna barabara nyumba ni ya matope ugonjwa ndio hiyo shida ni mingi na wao ni wakenya kama sisi jambo la tatu utafiti unatuonyesha ya kwamba tukiendelea mbele Kenya is among the fastest urbanizing countries in the world while urbanization elsewhere is about 3.7% Kenya is at 4.4% 68% of all our people by 2050 will be living in towns 68% either they will be living in slums in towns 
or they will be living in affordable houses if we have our plan right now. So we need to ensure that we get rid of slums, people living in decent, dignity of the people of Kenya is very important. Ya muhimu weta zaidi. Sisisi tunalarmika sasa iko shida ya unga. Sindio? Unga imepanda, chakula imepanda, garama ya maisha imepanda na ni kweli. Lakini tusipochunga, tukiendelea kukatakata ile shamba tungetumia kuzalisha chakula. Iwe ni mahali ya kuishi. Na Kenya it is obvious that there are many counties, I don't want to say which ones, that they are slowly degenerating into rural slums. Kwa sababu ya manyumba, kwa sababu ya manyumba kujengwa, watu wanaongezeka, na tunazidi na kugawa ile shamba ambayo tungetumia kuzalisha chakula, sasa tunatumia kwa kuishi. So we need to reverse that. How do we do land consolidation? Tunataka tuwakikisha kwamba wale ambao eh, badala ya kutumia ardhi zetu kuwa ya makao tufanye affordable housing katika miji katika towns ili tutumie mashamba yetu kuzalisha chakula ndio tupunguze gharama ya maisha kwa sababu chakula itakuwa king so for all those reasons that's why we are doing affordable housing tumeelewana tumeelewana jameni Nyinyi sisi wote tunazidi na kusema oh unajua eh Singapore ilikuwa kiwango moja na Kenya Singapore was a slum like Kibera today it is a modern city and a modern country because they made the right decisions Sisi tunataka tu kukaa hivi hivi Hapana tunataka tuendelee kukaa kaa kienyeji Si tugue na mpango ama mnasemaje Sasa tumesema sisi ambao wananchi hawa wengi mnatulipa mnatulipa mshahara rais analipwa na wananchi Huyu mjumbe wenu analipwa na wananchi Msiambiwa analipwa na serikali hakuna serikali hakuna mtu anaitwa serikali serikali ndio sisi ndio wananchi wa Kenya Nyi mnanielewa So sisi tunalipwa na wananchi Mimi napata mortgage ya 3%. Huyu huyu mkunji anapata mortgage ya 3% kununua nyumba. Lakini ule mwananchi ametupigia kura anapata mortgage ya 20%. 17%. Hapo iko ungwana. <laughs> Wewe mwananchi ukienda kutafuta mortgage unaambiwa lete 15%, 17%. Mimi nalipa 3%. Huyu mkunji analipa 3%. So tumesema kwa sababu wananchi hawa ndio wanatulipia mshahara. Na pia na wao tuwapangie ili hata na wao wapate mortgage hata kama haitafiki hata kama haitafika 3% waja ifike 5% jameni. Iko iko makosa hapo? Iko makosa? Na katika hiyo mpango Tumesema sisi ambao tuko na mshahara yenye nyinyi mnatulipa. Sisi tutoe 3%. Mimi ni, ni, ni toe 2500. Sasa 2500 wewe mgunji. Tutakombana na hao wananchi mambo ya 2500 ili mwananchi huyu apate moke jata na yeye mtoto wake apate kazi. Eh? Sasa mimi nasikia kuna watu wanakuja wanawaambia hapana usikubali hii mambo ya moke. Wewe kwanza huna mshahara. Ule yako na mshahara anakuja kukuambia ati upinge. <laughs> Sasa <laughs> unajua hii dunia iko na utapeli mingi sana. <laughs> wewe unapinga umsaidie yeye asilipe na wewe ukose nafasi ya mtoto wako kufata kazi. Nimeambia hawa ndugu zangu, jameni tukubaliane. Sisi ambao tumebarikiwa tuko na mshahara tunalipwa na ushuru ya wananchi tuwe na utu tukiambiwa make a small contribution ili huyu mtoto wa huyu mwananchi ambaye anatulipa mshahara yetu kupitia kwa ushuru ile analipa hata na yeye 
mtoto yake apate ajira kwa mambo ya affordable housing na yeye apate nafasi ya kupata nyumba ile affordable na yeye pia alipe badala ya mortgage 17% akuja hapo 5% tungangane hapo sisi wote iko makosa hapo nasikia watu wengi wananiambia wewe bwana president sasa hii kazi ya nyumba hii eh? nilikuwa naongea na walimu jana walimu wananiambia sasa mimi eh, nini eh, nini yangu ni 30000 sasa 3% ni shilingi 900. Hii 900 sasa eh hii ni pesa mingi sana. Sasa mimi namuuliza wewe mwalimu ndugu yangu. Wale ambao watafaidika na hii fund ni watoto wa Kenya. Pengine hata mtoto wako ni mmoja wao ambao watapata ajira. Si ni kweli? Kama hatapata ajira kwa mjengo, pengine yeye ni quantity surveyor pengine yeye ni fundi pengine yeye anafanya kwa factory ya simiti pengine yeye anafanya kwa factory ya chuma pengine yeye ni transporter pengine yeye anauza kwa hardware kwa sababu hiyo watu wote watafaidika na hii mpango mnanielewa iko makosa tukichangia watoto wetu wa Kenya milioni moja wapate ajira kila mwaka iko makosa tumefanya that is all we are saying ili huyu mjamaa si mmesikia huyu mungwana huyu mungwana ni mtu wa jua kali huyu namjua saa hii ako na nyumba pale park road mahali wadosi wanakaa hata yeye ako hapo kwa sababu ile nyumba anaishi tumepunguza tumepunguza gharama ya kujenga nyumba ambayo ingetukarimu shilingi milioni kumi na tano sasa hiyo nyumba inatugarimu ina, ina, ina shilingi milioni tatu. We have brought it down. We have removed the cost of the land, we have removed the taxes, we have removed the, uh, reduced the cost of the construction so that we can have a country where all of us are equal. Na unajua mimi sitaki kuwa mtu muongo. Nilisema tutapanga ajira ya vijana wetu. Na hiyo ndio mpango tupange ajira na nilikuwa na hawa watu wote tulikuwa na wabunge hawa si tulisema mheshimiwa heshimiwa tutapanga ajira ya watoto wetu sasa mzinduke vipi <laughs> tuko pamoja katika hii safari mpaka tupange ajira ya hawa watu wa embo watu wa embo tunaelewana tunaelewana ndio nasema tuwe na hii mpango ya housing tuwe na mpango ya value addition agro processing na hiyo ingine tuwe na mpango ya digital jobs ili tuhakikisha kwamba tunapanga ajira ya vijana wa taifa letu la Kenya because it is urgent for us to have a plan on how the millions of young people in Kenya have an opportunity to work for themselves to work for their families and to contribute their energy their talent and their expertise in driving the economy of our country Sijui kama tumeelewana na niko tayari kujibu maswali yule mtu wako na maswali aniulize because i am ready to answer karinda si usemeko kitu thank you your excellency your excellency